Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another scrapbooking layout in my A5 notebook using the Crystal Collection from Felicity Jane. I will also have a blog post over on the Felicity Jane blog today with more close-up photos and details if you want to check that out, um, but I will have everything linked down below for you underneath the video. Uh, I have been loving this collection. It is hands down my favorite collection from Felicity Jane. Um, I've been using it for all my projects this month. I am really kind of getting down to the last little bits and pieces of the collection. Um, but I did wanna go ahead and document in my notebook with this um, set of goodies. So I have a photo here. Now what I'm doing in this particular A5 notebook is my health and wellness journey. So anything that's kind of um, related to that, it's a little bit uh, less formal than some of my other um, scrapbooking projects. And so I can just kind of be a little bit more messy in here and document some more less formal photos. So what I have here is a photo my silly husband and I, um, we've been trying to go on a walk a few times a week. Um, and on this, this particular day, our kids joined us. Usually just my husband and I go, but we let them um, come along with us and ride their bikes. And it was just a really nice um, day outside. But this also marks, um, as of this week, my husband and I have lost 140 pounds between the two of us in the last year, which is just mind-blowing to me. So I definitely wanted to document that. So I have a few different things from the Crystal Collection. I've gone ahead and already cut out some of the papers. Um, I am trying to use that my scraps because I want to stretch this kit as much as possible because it's a favorite of mine. So I had this little scrap of pattern paper here. And so rather than leave it, you know, and use one full piece underneath here, I actually cut this in half and we're going to let it peek out and look as if it's one full piece, but we're only using a little bit of paper there. I just love, love, love that floral paper. And then I grabbed this journaling card. I love using journaling cards in my A5 notebook just because the size of them um, fits really nicely in here. It also gives you just a really great place to do your journaling, keep it nice and contained and small. Um, so this one here, today's top three, I thought would be a good one to journal down three points in relation to that picture there. And then I have some die cuts and chipboard pieces and things like that that we will be embellishing with. And then this was a doily that I cut out using a die from my stash and some of the wood grain paper to kind of tie that wood grain in over on this other side of the layout. And then I'll be doing some stamping with the crystal stamp set and then using the numbers from the alphabet set. So one thing I really like about the A5 notebooks is that they are a a little bit larger than the standard traveler's notebooks. They give you a little bit more room. Um, they're really great if you're gonna be printing your photos in three by four size or four by four. Um, you can have a little bit larger photos in here, um, but it's not as overwhelming as like a 12 by 12 layout or a six by eight layout. Um, and this is a little bit less formal, so I can be a little more messy, just, you know, throw random photos in here, um, but still be able to use my products and things from Felicity Jane. And I like that, you know, you can dress it up, but it stretches your products because you're not having to use as much um, on these particular layouts. So I am really enjoying this pro uh, project. This is my second year working in one of these A5 notebooks. And I just really love them. So, and the ones from Felicity Jane have just really nice, silky smooth paper. So everything will be linked down below for you guys if you want to check those out. But let me go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and we'll put together this A5 layout. Okay, so like I mentioned, this layout's gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna start with my photo layers here. So my photo is uh, three inches by four inches. I cut down a pink piece of the solid paper to three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the wood grain is four by five. I am still loving this liquid glue. I will have it linked down below. It is, it's my new favorite. It makes things so much easier. So here I'm just kind of laying out where I want those two pieces of floral pattern paper. That way it looks like one solid piece kind of poking behind my photo. I'm trying to remind myself to change things up. I kind of get stuck in a rut where I do the same layering um, recipe, I guess. And so I'm trying to change things and um, keep things, you know, a little bit different. That way I'm not all my layouts end up looking the same. So there is this stamp in the crystal stamp set that says this is the life and the shape of it I was I really wanted to use it but I was struggling on how to incorporate it into one of my layouts but I thought about turning one of these labels um, to this vertical orientation and then that stamp fits perfect on there so there's something totally different I've never really done that with a label before um, but that worked 
perfect to have a little sentiment. I love the sentiments in the kit this month. Um, so I tried to incorporate quite a few of those on this particular layout. I did add a little tiny attacher. I need to order some of the, not tiny attacher, mini paper clip. I need to order more of those black ones. Those are just kind of a staple in all of my layouts. It just adds a different texture. Um, I have them in a variety of colors from Felicity Jane. And so I can add little pops of color with those paper clips. They're just really um, fun for little embellishments. So here's some more of those sentiments. Now this is me, that is a chipboard bit from the collection this month. And every time I do a unboxing, I mentioned that you can peel off the layers of the chipboard to make it thinner. And so that's what I did here. I went ahead and basically just made this half as thick. Since I'm working in an A5 notebook, I wanna be careful that I don't get too chunky in here um, or I won't be able to complete, you know, completely work through all the pages. So I just tore off the back half of that chipboard. And so it still has dimension, but it's a little bit thinner. Um, and then I just add some adhesive and nobody even knows that it's been altered and it makes it so it's a little flatter in my notebook. So the right-hand side here, I'm trying to make my little cluster. Uh, this doily die, I, I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I'll link it down below. If not, I'll link something comparable down below. Uh, doily die is one of those kind of staple elements. I love the papers from Felicity Jane. And so I try to find uh, dies that are, you know, kind of staple items, alphabets, shapes, things like that, where I can cut those papers out and turn them into my own embellishments. And so that's what I did with that die and that wood grain paper. And then I typically would layer that floral behind my card, but I did not want to cover any of it up because it's just so beautiful. So I went ahead and just layered it on top of the card. I don't have a whole lot of journaling to do, so I didn't have to worry about leaving myself too much room. And then now I'm going to go ahead and number, since this card is giving you a today's top three journaling prompt, uh, I thought it'd be fun to incorporate some of these numbers from the alphabet stickers. And I am letting those kind of hang off of the journaling card um, to give myself some more room to write. And again, just using that journaling card as a place to contain my journaling um, and then letting things kind of pop out from behind it and run off of it um, and just kind of style it that way. So I went ahead and filled in some simple journaling. I'm gonna add the date stamp there and that is it. Super, super simple, but I got to use tons of those beautiful florals from the Crystal Collection. Um, be sure to head on over to the blog to see more close-up photos. Uh, check out the description box down below. We'll have links to everything that I used. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.